stage, film and musical icon Lena Harn will officially become the first black woman to have a Broadway theater named for her when the Nederlander organization rechristens the Brooks Atkinson Theater next month and unveils a new marquee. The company, under the leadership of James L. Nederlander, announced the renaming date today. A formal celebration will take place in front of the venue on 47th Street, currently housing the Musical 6, on Tuesday, November 1. In its announcement today, the organization, which owns nine Broadway theaters, said that in renaming the venue new generations of theatergoers will be introduced to the legendary Lena Horne, an entertainer who broke barriers for other black women to follow in her footsteps, and through this recognition. The renaming ceremony, co-produced by Christina Selby and Jacqueline Bell, will include special performances, remarks, the marquee unveiling and a DJ block party. The announcement indicates that legendary stars and luminaries from the Broadway and entertainment communities will participate, with specifics to be announced. The ceremony will follow through on a pledge by various Broadway theater owners in 2020, in solidarity with Black Theater United, to honor Black theater artists by renaming at least one of their venues. Last month, the Schubert's organization officially renamed the Court Theater the James Earl Jones Theater, Jujemson Theaters had renamed its Virginia Theater the August Wilson Theater in 2005. Horn who died in 2010, was the first black woman ever to be nominated for a Tony Award for Leading Actress in a Musical for her performance in 1957's Jamaica. In 1981, she starred on Broadway in Lena Horne, The Lady and Her Music which played at the Nederlander Theatre and included among its lead producers James M. Nederlander. Horne received a special Tony Award for the show as well as two Grammy Awards for the cast recording, 